is a great knob when you're working with people that can sing really well. If you're working with somebody who doesn't sing very well, keep this at zero. You'll be doing them a big favor. But for people that can sing really well, like Adele or Ariana Grande or Michael Buble, whoever it may be, I know we all think of, you know, real singers don't need auto-tune, but we probably haven't heard uh, a mainstream vocal that wasn't auto-tune in the last 25 years. I mean, everyone's using it. But yeah, flex tune is going to allow you more vocal freedom and be able to sing in between notes, be able to sing notes outside of the scale. So right now we're in A minor, which is all the white keys. But if a singer needed to kind of reach for something chromatically, the more we increase this, it's going to let them. So if we wanted to, for instance, throw in an E flat in there, the more we increase our flex tune, the more auto tune is it going to allow us to do that. Another vocal technique that is very common that singers use is a technique called melisma. And what that is, is it is a technique that singers use when they take one syllable, like, a, like the word the, and make it into multiple syllables. Uh, a very famous, probably the most famous uh, example of that is Whitney Houston's I'll Always Love You. When she starts out and she sings I, she just doesn't say I, she goes I, E, I, E, I, right? She's singing, she's making it into multiple syllables. So flex tune is going to allow a singer to have that freedom. 